From the alley-oops at Kizar to the glory days at the stick. From who's got it better than us to brick by brick. It's always the 49ers way from off season to game day. Yeah, we talk back. It's the 49ers cut back. It's 49ers cutback podcast time, and ever since Tarverius Moore got hurt, there has been questions about who should play safety, and it's been brought up that maybe the 49ers need, in, need to look into a player from their not-so-distant past in Richard Sherman. Should Richard Sherman come back to the 49ers and play maybe a hybrid role, a mixture of corner and safety? Alex, I'll let you hit this one first. Oh, really? I'm, I'm interested in why oh man i'm me i don't know if i'm ready for it would ready you just shut up and do it all right i got you i'm ready for this i'm ready for this moment right here right now if we were on jay in the base podcast jay would have been already saying to us what's good they need to bring back richard no he wouldn't have because if you watched our jay in the bay episode you know that he doesn't think they should yeah. bring him back well i'm here to tell you that i disagree oh nice if richard sherman is ready to accept this hi- a hybrid role a role in which he can be on the field maybe more than he should be because he's playing as a safety at times, covering deep third of the field or deep half of the field, and a corner at other times when they're whenever they're running zone coverage, then he can actually expand his his lifespan in the NFL, his career. What he has left in the tank, he can do it. Because if this guy, if you if you're putting him in situations where he can play zone coverage and he's responsible for an area, he can get back into that area, run that bail technique quick and get to his spot. And get to an area and space he is smart enough smart enough to be able to diagnose what a team's doing where they want to go what their route concepts are he knows these offensive coordinators like the back of his hand he knows what these types of schemes and concepts that he's gonna be facing especially in the nfc west he's been in the nfc west his whole career he knows what these teams want to do so in the nfc west especially he's gonna have a lot of success and he's played in this league long enough that he knows what to see and what to expect but he has to be willing to accept that role And that means not being the guy in the secondary, not being the lockdown dude. That means not being the guy that we rely on. That means at times knowing when we we need him to either switch to a safety or just come off the field in general because this is not the time or situation that you need to be out there. We need to run all man in this situation. You need to come off the field. You know, we're going to run cover one. We want to have one of our other safeties out there and not you with a little more speed. As long as he's willing to accept that role, this should be a done deal in my mind. But I think part of the reason why it's not a done deal and why the Niners haven't pulled the trigger on this already is because I think we all can agree on this. Richard Sherman, Richard Sherman's biggest problem has always been Richard Sherman. It's also been his greatest ally and his greatest asset and what's made him so special. But it's also the thing that hinders him is at times he doesn't know when to just lay off the Richard Sherman stick and just put the, I mean, not put the team first, but just not make it all about Richard Sherman. And if he's not ready to not be in the limelight, it's going to be really, really hard for any team to take a chance on it. Yeah. As much as it pains me to say I completely agree with Alex, um, Richard Sherman, as long as he understands the role they have for him, I think would be great in that role. Um, but he's got to understand it. he got to understand he's not the main guy anymore. He's got to understand that he's there to play that specific role and not only – if he does understand that and he's willing to do it, I'd be happy to have him back. For the first time, this makes sense to bring Richard Sherman back. I think before I was dead set on bringing him back because I wanted their flexibility to be able to run man coverage and to do a lot of different things that they're not able to do when they're pigeonholed with Richard Sherman at corner. But with him playing a hybrid role and him going from safety to corner and vice versa, they're able to play a lot of games and develop a very cohesive game plan that can do a very good job of using his talents. Like you talked about him knowing what the offense is gonna do, he will be able to jump routes and be in positions that other players maybe don't see. It also insulates you in case you lose a Jimmy Ward. If you lose him, you don't wanna have to count on somebody else playing safety. You can count on this guy who knows the ins and outs of this defense, he's been playing it for years. Somebody that will know exactly what D'Amico Ryans is thinking, feeling, doing. You'll have a defensive coordinator on the field at all times so yes this makes a lot of sense because you can still use emmanuel mosley plus if you do have an injury to one of those corners you have richard sherman to play you don't have to count on a rookie like ombre thomas or diameter lenore to go in there and play right away 
you could easily keep him in the corner spot, still keep four safeties, and allow Dante Johnson to leave. You know, wave Dante Johnson, keep Richard Sherman. He fits in the, the safety room. I mean, I'm sorry, the corner room, but he's able to play safety and corner. I think it would be a very good situation for the 49ers, somebody that could still help these young guys get better and then also develop on the field as one of, you know, one of the great players in the league that could still do a lot of good things for the 49ers. Um, so I like it a lot. I, I think the things that they could do to, with him, the way that they could use him in coverage, the way that he would be a great matchup for tight ends because of his length and his size and the way he understands the game, um, he could definitely change things up. And he is a good tackler. He's not a great tackler, but he's a good tackler that could, you know, be up in the box and make plays if he's asked to do that. Um, the one thing I would love to see, because I haven't seen very much of it, is a Richard Sherman blitzing the quarterback. Haven't got to see that a whole lot, but I would definitely be all in on seeing some of that. So this is the first time that I'm excited about a Richard Sherman return. The financial reasons are reasons I still think it's a hang up. Also, because the 49ers weren't planning on Tavarius Moore getting injured, they need to develop a plan to have Richard Sherman in the defense. But it's definitely something they could do and something I think that once they got it done, they'd be all in on because a lot of flexibility with him in the lineup and him on the roster. No, I, I agree with you there completely on that. Um, man, I'll, I'll tell you what, it didn't make sense before. And, right. And what Jay in the Bay said when he came on the podcast was accurate on the Richard Sherman situation. It just didn't make a lot of sense. With Tavares more going down though and everything kind of just panning out the way it has, it's really hard to convince me otherwise now yeah. that this isn't something they need to do. If not just for depth purposes, like you just said, it just makes a lot of sense. And there's a lot of different ways that you can utilize him. And if he's willing to be more than just a corner in this system with this team, it could go well. It could be a really good thing for the 49ers this year, but it could also be very good for Richard Sherman in his career and prolonging and keeping him in the NFL for another three to four years. You know, Richard Sherman is a smart guy. This is definitely something he should be considering. Yeah, and he can use a roster spot, you know, from the cornerback spot. Mm -hmm. You know, Dante Johnson, I mean, I think we're all okay with Dante Johnson being a, a depth piece and being the fifth corner, but I think we'd rather have Richard Sherman. Yes. And by putting Richard Sherman in that slot, yes, he's not really the fifth guy. He's more like the second or third guy. But you put him into one of those top five guys, and then he plays the safety spot. Now you have an extra safety that you were able to keep on your roster in case something happens because the two starters have injury concerns. And also Jason Verrett has injury concerns. Okay. Even though Verrett has proven he's over him, you still have to keep that in the back of your mind. Having him there to be able to play all areas and all facets of the secondary is definitely something that the 49ers should think about doing insulate themselves again from injury, make sure that they are taken care of because you need players like this to win football games, and he's a very good one that's still available and maybe the best one that's still available. Yeah, he's definitely a winner. He's been on winning teams pretty much his whole career. Great model, great guy for the young guys to model their work ethic and game after. Now, that right there is a point that we didn't touch on, and that is one for sure horse that everyone should consider. And the 49ers need to consider as well as what he could bring and the impact he could bring to the, the cornerback room for the young guys, the example he can set, and the things he can learn. Kudos there, horse. That was incredible. You can touch on my point whenever you want. That's right. Oh, whoa, whoa. That was a lot there. Let us know what you think down below right now about this hybrid signing of Richard Sherman. Do the 49ers need to pull the trigger on this? Bring this guy in as a corner slash safety to bolster the safety depth. To bolster the running uh, the running back room, to bolster the the cornerback room depth, we want to hear from you. Let us know about it. Do you agree with Jay in the Bay when he was on here talking with us, or you in agreement with us? We kind of shifted a little bit on this, especially Ant because Ant was fully against this, and mm -hmm. now he's starting to climb on board. What do the 49ers need to do? We want to hear from you. And while you're down there, commenting away, commenting, commenting, commenting. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and share the video with your friends because again, the more people you share this with more conversations we can have and the more conversations we have and the better this community gets yeah and as things change you know your opinions change you know i think i was looking through the prism that i wanted emmanuel mosley to play in that sort of system and now that richard sherman you know or now that tarvarius moore got hurt richard sherman's a possibility in this type of role and in the other role i'm not interested but in this role <laughs> i'm interested um and i'm interested in what everyone thinks because there's been a lot of people that have been dead set on no richard sherman in our comment section and light it up if you still are no on richard sherman i want to hear your points of view on it because i think it is an interesting conversation to have 
and Richard Sherman is a polarizing figure. Um, so we would have to really engage in making sure we bring him back for a decent salary. Um, so that will take up a lot of the 49er salary cap. But I think he would like to be back here. And I think now this is the first window where he could actually be. But don't forget to, to leave a comment because I am curious what everyone thinks. It's a great point, Ant. It's a great point indeed. Let us know down there. We always love, uh, we always love hearing from chat. Yeah, we're all real excited about this. I think it's going to be one of the most divisive subjects that we cover this offseason. It always is when you bring up Sherman this, so far this offseason. I'm pretty excited to see what people have to say. Absolutely, indeed. 49ers fans, we love you. Cutback crew, until next time, you stay safe. Remember the right way. It's always the 49ers way.